For the first time 1911 builder, it's best in my opinion to start with just a raw, raw frame because if you start with a painted frame or a black Cerakote frame that we offer, um, there, there's more chance of you scratching it and, and this, is a, this is a learning process. I like to start with a raw frame, get it done, get the, get the gun functioning, and then after it functions, send it out to someone to get it, get it coated. Cerakote is a great option. We, we love, this is, these are all Cerakoted and uh, it, it, really, it really is a nice coating and it gives you as a builder flexibility to, to get it built and function function test and then and then get it finished whether it's whether it's this color this color this color that that really has no effect on on your skill as a builder because this is somebody else's job unless you're going to be the person applying the paint which is another skill you're leaving this to a professional and so just getting the gun built is the is the top priority and from there the 45 is is the easiest to build then you know, I would say that the nine millimeter is, is more, uh, just a, a little bit more challenging because of the extra finishing work that needs done on the barrel seat. Just, just little tweaks because it is a lighter power round and the gun does use recoil to function properly. So 45 is, is definitely the way to go for a first time builder. Another tip for a first time builder or even a experienced builder that maybe hasn't thought about this yet is when you're drilling the holes, it's best to let the, let the gun, the jig find itself with the drill, prep, the drill press. So when you're coming down with, when this is on the drill press, it's best to leave the jig floating. You, you do not want to put this in a vise typically unless you really know what you're doing but when i drill them out i never put this in a vise i leave it lay flat and as the drill comes down just have a little bit of pressure not much let it move and the jig will actually find center on the hole from the drill press and so if you have this in a vise you could influence the drill to be drilling off center and so that's just a, a helpful tip that a, a lot of people don't don't know is to not vice this when you're drilling. You, you will get straight holes every time if you let the drill center the jig on the table.